Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screaming Door. Today is another FMA tutorial. Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screaming Door. Today is another FMA tutorial. Before we start, please don't forget to hit like, share, and don't forget to, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel so that we, you can be aware of any content that's being released. And before we do that, we're just here to remind you that there's an upcoming Battle of the Bayani Battle in the Desert Tournament in, on March 26th and 27th in Banning, California. For more information, go to this website and all the information to register. is We're opening registration on February 26th till February 19th, uh, March 19th, excuse me. And then uh, from then it's going to be in-person registration. So let's get right into this. So I've done videos before about the important, the, how I like pairing as far as a blocking or a defensive mechanism, right? But for the most part, okay, I'm not saying everybody does it, but for the most part, uh, pairing is done because of uh, by media to at least media or largo distances, right? Because we need you need to be able to to go underneath and parry your attack uh, your attacker's strike. Okay, most most of the time, most people do that. They're they're keeping their stick low so that they can come underneath and parry out this way, coming from this side, parry out this way, right? But now I kind of want to talk to you guys about something that I've been working with with Grandmaster Valpableo and Grandmaster Danny Huertas of Amra Fighting Concept to show you how you can do pairing Corto range, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, so like I was talking about, when I have my student Raymond here, he's here to help me. What we're talking about, usually when people do the parry, it's usually because they're doing Largo range. Now, again, the, the, the range for Largo range is where we're just able to hit the extremities, right? Which is, in this case will be his hands. And most of the time when people do the parry technique, when it's coming here, they're coming out this way and coming out this way. Now, if we were to add footwork, he comes out this way. We're stepping more to, the, to, my, to my left and coming out stepping more to the right. Now, if we could do media range, right? Come a little closer, please. There you go. It's still the same thing where he's striking, but this time we're stepping, I'm more stepping forward and stepping, stepping forward as well, okay? So now, this is where we start doing corto range, okay? So in corto range, corto range is that we can, I, my bare fist can touch his chest, right? That's the range for, for corto range. So now with corto range, we're not going to be parrying the stick, right? We're going to be parrying the arm. So when he comes in, I'm going to come in this way and stepping forward here and getting closer to him, checking him here, right? That's the thing about corto ranges because you can, you can definitely, with your bare hand, you can touch your opponent. Okay, one more time. We're standing here, coming in this way, boom, and I'm checking, right? Then he's going to come to the other side, boom, and I'm checking. Okay, now at this point, his hand is a little too far, right? But I'm just going to keep it there just as a, I'm not trying to reach for his hand or his arm, right? If we were to release, we're not, I'm not actually reaching for his hand. I just want that to be there just in case he decides to come in. It's, it's already there for defense. You don't want to follow it all the way. So when, on this side, please. You don't want to follow it all the way through where he goes all the way back. And now it's beyond your range because now all, now you're super over committing. Okay, when he's coming from this angle, you're parrying, pop it out this way, right? Notice that my stick is, is, is up, right? Just in case he decides to punch, there's my block. Okay, so one more time. He's coming, no, he's coming here this way, parrying this way, boom, checking him here. And then if he comes to the other side, boom, push out and check him here and then the stick ready to protect your face just in case this comes in here or he tries to headbutt you whatever right okay that's one of the things that you need to be working on when you're doing these type of close range parrying and then the next step above that is when you're striking instead of checking with the stick right we're going to be checking with the forearm and parrying this way okay so it's very it's, oh, it's definitely the huba drill right but then now on the other side we're still doing the stick, right? And then parrying this way and again coming out this way. Okay, now the big difference is that when he's when we're doing with the parrying with a stick, I'm using usually this part of the stick to parry this way. When it's coming here, it's my it's my forearm, but on the return, 
it's see how this is the the base of my stick is here so i can push him up higher and go this way now one of the things you can do is of course do the bob and weave right here and here right so if we were to incorporate that here and then to the other side here okay so those are the so those are some of the basics of uh, like kind of an armor fighting concept or the close range fighting or, or close range parrying. This is Guru Francis from uh, Filipino Martial Arts School. Peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks. <laughs>